What's up YouTube, Team Jack guys, we're coming back here with a brand new Dragon Ball Super deck profile. This time it is my friend Jordan's uh, recently built uh, Goku Krillin deck. Uh, yes, he has made Krillin good and Goku good. Uh, sorry Larry, if you're a little salty at that. Uh, anyways, uh, this is from mostly half of Clash of Fates and BT4, that was another size. I can't really remember what this Gohan's from. Uh, at the current moment, but it is from an older set. Um, I'm, no, I really just can't remember if it was from a side set or not. Anyways, uh, so it's just filled with some go, a bunch of Gohans, a bunch of Krillins, a bunch of Goku. So, but before we get to the deck profile itself, we will get to our main leader, uh, Son Goku. And here you can see Krillin blowing up. Uh, Breeze, Freeze blew him the f up. Eh, I really like this artwork. No, with Goku having no pupils, uh, Krillin blowing up with that big, huge hole in his head after Frieza blew him up. So he has a power of 10,000. He is a Saiyan. He is a Goku, and this is from the Frieza Saga. Auto Burst 2. When this card attacks, you may choose one green card named... Sorry. You may choose one green card in your hand, place in the drop area. If you do so, draw two cards. So he's pretty good draw support. When your life is four or less, you may choose two of your energy switch to active mode and flip this card over. And then, oh, this artwork is so beautiful. It becomes Son Goku, the legendary Super Saiyan. And I'd say that my friend Jordan, he actually got his hands on the foil ear, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, you can probably see, barely see the picture very well because of the lighting, but there we go. That's pretty good. It's really good artwork. So now he is the legendary Super Saiyan. He has Sparking 5, Auto, when this card attacks, draw one card, and if Krillin is in your drop area, this card gets an additional plus 5,000, and Double Strike. So, since Krillin's already going to be in your drop area, guarantee in this deck, he's going to be 20,000 Double Strike. So, uh, that is our leader, Son Goku. Now to move on to the deck itself, we got three copies of Newfound Power Son Gohan. He is a one cost, 5,000 combo, 5,000 power, and this card is when this card attacks. If your lead, when this card attacks, you may choose one card in your hand. If you, er, sorry, I'm completely botching this. I'm sorry, I'm a little tired after work. Uh, when this card attacks, you may take a card from your life, uh, give him plus 10,000 and critical. So basically. Uh, that one Trunks card, you just take a card from your life, he gets critical and plus 10,000 when he attacks by taking a card from your life to your hand. Uh, he, this card is actually pretty good if you want a little bit of stuff awakened. Next, we got four copies of Tenacious Spirit Son Gohan, and yeah, he, we did pull the alternate art. It says, never take this. So we got four copies of it, and it's actually a really cool card. He has a one cost, 5,000 combo, 5,000 power. When you play this card, draw one card, activate once per turn, pay two green. This card gets plus 15 and crit for the duration of the turn, so he's at 20,000 crit. So he's just like this, just a little more expensive by paying the green cost. But yeah, that's uh, our son Gohan. Next, we got four copies of Fledging Duo Son Gohan. So we managed to get two foils out of four. So he is a two cost, 5,000 combo, 5,000 power. Barrier, reduce energy cost of Krillin's in your hand by one. Even though it's reduced by one, you still have to pay this one green energy cost or whatever for what Krillin's cost is. So he just reduces the cost of your Krillin's. Next, we got four copies of Friend Summoning Sun Gohan. He is a two cost, 5,000 combo, 10,000 power. When you play this card, look at the top seven cards of your deck. Choose one Krillin among them, add it to your hand. And you got a total of like, I think like eight or 12 Krillin. So you have a high chance of getting one. Next, we got four copies of Fledging Duo, Fledgling Duo Krillin. Sorry, you can barely see the name of that because of my lighting. So, we got four copies. He is a four cost, 5,000 combo, 15,000 power. Blocker, when you play this card, choose up one of your opponent's battle cards and knock it out. So, thanks to the Sun Gohan that you have. Uh, the one, where the heck is he? 
just had them here. So thanks to this Gohan, if you have a couple of these out, you can play this Krillin no problem, like, cheap. Because uh, you only have to have one green to play this one, so if you have three Sun, Go three Sun Gohans out, you can play them just for a one cost. And when you play them, you can knock something out, which is just freaking awesome. Next, we got four cop. oh god, the foil is just, just blocking the name. Four copies of... Perf Persistent Assault Krillin. So another four cost, five thousand combo, fifteen thousand power barrier. See so just the name right there. Pretty good artwork, but I just hate this type of foiling. It's just flaky 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 and annoying. Sorry, I'm having trouble talking to you. He has barrier. When you play this card, draw one card. If your leader card is green or black, this card is in rest mode. Your opponent cannot attack leader cards. So basically, he's another deadly defender. Uh, basically, but most deadly defenders are like three cost. This guy's at four cost. But if you have some Gohans out, you can reduce the energy cost of it. So he's pretty good with barrier. Because all deadly defenders are mostly have barrier. And your leader card has to depend on your deadly defender. But this could be green or black. So that is pretty cool that they made a Krillin that's a deadly defender. And really you can throw 18, 18 deadly defender in this deck as well to give yourself so much de so defense. Next we got four copies of Hyperspeed Sun Goku. Here's just Kaioken Goku just punching Frieza. He is a 3 cost 5,000 combo, 15,000 power. When you play this card you may choose two cards from your life, add them to your hand. Isn't If you choose up to one or more to your hand this card gets plus 15 and critical so he's literally a 3,000 crit now if you have some way you're giving him double strike it's just very scary because you have to combo so much just to get over this and if you attack with this if you give him double strike and you got some super combos I would definitely use them so there's four copies of that pretty devastating if you ask me next we didn't pull any ultra dart of these but we did get four copies of final showdown Sun Goku this is when uh, Frieza's blasting up a Goku, and Goku's just blasting back at Frieza for saying, You fool, I give you my energy, and you're being a total dick about it. So, he is a 5 cost, 10,000 combo, plus 1 to play as combo, 25,000 power, double strike. When a Krillin with an energy cost of 4 or more in your battle area is knocked out by your opponent, if your leader card is green or black, play this card from your hand. You cannot play Final Showdown Sun Goku for the duration of the turn. When you play this card from your hand, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring Barry, and knock it out. So as soon as one of your Krillins is knocked out, you immediately get to play this card, knock something out. But unfortunately, you can only play one once per turn. Because if you could do this multiple times, it'd be just so OP and annoying. And your Krillin has to be knocked out by your opponent's battle skills, and not one of yours. And he's also got Double Strike. Which is pretty good. So, there he is. And we're going to be using more cards from the older sets. Four copies of Finishing Spirit Bomb Sun Goku. Now, there is a strategy with this. When you have this Goku out, you attack with everything, like your hero, other battle cards, whatever you need to. You do not attack with this yet. Not until you play this guy, which evolves onto him. So... He is finishing Spirit Bomb Son Goku. He is a 6 cost, 10,000 combo, plus 1 to play his combo. 25,000 power, EX Evolve, 1 green. Place 1 card in your hand into the drop area on a green Son Goku with energy cost of 5 or more, which is this guy. And he has Double Strike. When this card attacks, choose up to 3 battle cards in your drop area and combo with them. And this can mean any green cards, even if it has a one cost combo, you can still combo with it and not have to pay that one. Because you're just comboing with it right away. And so, you just evolve right onto that. And say you have like, three Infernal Form, or Infernal Cell, this guy right here in your drop area. Or you have your green super combos in your drop area. You get to immediately combo with those, and you get to totally draw up to three cards. And this is an instant double strike. So, you play this Goku, you can knock out some shit, evolve, and draw a bunch of cards, and then you can finally attack, combo three cards from your drop area, and your opponent's at your mercy. So there's that. 
And next we run three copies of Infernal Villainy Cell. Uh, he was going to run four, but he didn't have that much room. Uh, same thing goes for this Gohan right here. He just didn't have enough room. But still, um, when you play or combo with this... Or, oh, sorry. He is a four cost, 10,000 combo, plus one to play his combo. Uh, 20,000 power critical. When you play this card or combo with this card, you just get the draw. But basically, if you combo with this guy while you have this Goku out... You can just combo, use him for a combo fodder, draw your card, then you attack with the Spirit Bomb Goku, and get another uh, draw and use the same one, or use super combos. But yeah, that's mostly what he's used for. And next we got four copies of Defensive Stance Super Saiyan Vegeta. He is a two cost super combo, 10,000 combo, 15,000 power. With Sparking 5, when you combo with this card, if your leader card is green, draw one card. So, just basic super combo. And you can also use Super Spirit Bomb Goku with that card to also combo with in your drop area. Okay, now we're on to extra cards. We have four copies of Feet Kamehameha, because your leader really would like to use this. It is a one cost extra card. Active Battle, if your leader card is Green Sun Goku... For the duration of the battle, this card gets plus 15 and crit. Now, if he's on this side, he's already got the plus 5 draw and double strike. So he's 20. This just adds 15. So you're getting a total of 35 double strike and critical. So having 4 of these is kind of mandatory if you're on the awakened side. That is a hell of a lot of power. And if your opponent can't, can't combo over it, you have tons of super combos or com stuff to combo with. So, Feet Kamehameha is a must in this deck at 4. Next, we got 4 copies of Shocking Death Ball. It is a 1 cost negate. If your leader card is green, negate the effect and choose one of your opponent's battle cards to any cost of 2 or less and knock it out. Sparking 5, if your life or sorry, if you have 5 cards in your drop area, you can play this card for free by taking a card from your life instead of paying its energy cost. So, you just play it, and since you have 5 cards in your drop area, which you probably will, you take a card from your life, add it to your hand, and negate for free, and knock something 2 or less out for free. And with that, that is it for this deck profile. So, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you think of this deck? Uh, tell me the ways that you think it could be improved, or... Uh, the card you would take out. To me, I think this deck is actually pretty, um, pr has pretty good synergy. So that's it for this video. So remember to comment, rate, please subscribe, like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Those links are in the description below. Subscribe to Viva Revolticon. He created the logo that's right down here at the bottom corner of the video. Also, there's a Ram shout out in the description below. Go subscribe to that guy. Go show him some love or those guys, whoever I decide to put the Ram shout out. Go subscribe to their channel. Show them some love, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content. There'll be more content like this and much more on my channel. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.